Or do you work? Oh, you can, you can position. Well, we're going to have somebody in here. Uh, mic check, mic check. We are live, gentlemen. All right. All right. Welcome, folks. We are coming to you live from the GeekWire Awards. This is John Cook. And it's Todd Bishop from GeekWire.com. Hey, we did it opposite than the podcast. Know, exactly. Isn't that weird? Well, anyway, folks, we are here at the wonderful EMP Museum. We have 800 plus geeks coming out to celebrate 13 categories. Everything ranging from Next Tech Titan to Startup of the Year to Geekiest Office Space. Todd, what are you most excited about tonight? You know, I think uh, Next Tech Titan is a big one. A big Geek one. of the Year. That was is a close one. vote. That was a very close vote. You know, if this were the Oscars, the Startup of the Year would be our best picture. So that's a, a very big one for us. And and startup CEO would be what? <laughs> startup CEO would be like best actor. Okay. Okay. Yes. Exactly. Yes. So we're going to be here on the red carpet for about a half an hour. Uh, the we're guests gonna are Yeah, in. we're going to talk to some folks out here. And uh, about 6.45, the festi festivities kick off. So if you were not able to get a ticket to this sold-out event, oh, yeah, let's get Spencer, our keynote. Come on Spencer in. Our Roscoff keynote from, speaker, from Spencer Roscoff we of, of Zillow. We're, we're live, live. On the internet. Uh, yep. To the, the millions, <laughs> millions of the GeekWire faithful here. So, uh, <laughs> Spencer, give us a preview of your keynote talk tonight. Um, I'm going to try to tell people why they should be inspired by technology and why they should come do something interesting with their life instead of following the siren song to Wall Street like too many of, of, our, uh, of our bright youth do. Great. So leave Wall Street, come to tech, and do something fun and interesting with your life. Great. So Spencer, you guys reported earnings this week. Oh, uh, you know, yeah, we're going to get serious, <laughs> man. We're going to get serious. No, I'm going to go in a little bit of a different direction. Is the tech market overheating right now? Is it a bubble? Uh, no, it's not a bubble. Um, in um, uh, There are certain... I actually don't think it's a public bubble. So the publicly traded companies, I don't think, are trading at all that high multiple. Well, you are public. you, know, you got to say that. I'm biased. Um, uh, there certainly are high valuations at the angel stage and some of the the late, you know, kind of the, the mid to late growth stage uh, because a lot of... Everyone has kind of moved down a level, right? So the, the public market investors, the mutual funds and the hedge funds are now doing late stage privates. And then um, kind of strategics are doing late stage privates. And there are so many more angel investors uh, and the regular VCs have moved downstream. So there's just more capital in each of these parts of the, of the, um, parts of the capital structure. So yeah, there, there are overheated valuations in certain parts there, but, um, but I don't think it's a bubble. Bubble is something a little bit different to me. So I looked over your remarks on the speech, and I'm really excited to hear it presented live. You talk a little bit in there about Seattle. What is it about Seattle that gets you fired up in terms of just the general ecosystem, whether the tech ecosystem or even beyond, uh, beyond just you know just living here? What do you like about this place? I, I like about Seattle that um, it is enough of a tech environment to have critical mass. There certainly are enough brilliant people here interested in technology, but not so many that it's an echo chamber. Uh, my last startup was in the Bay Area. Bay Area is great. I like Seattle. Um, I like that it's a little bit more real world than the Bay Area because not everybody is in tech up here the way in the Bay Area sometimes seems like everybody's in, in tech. So I, I like that mix and the diversity that Seattle has to offer. Great. Well, there you heard it from Spencer Roskop, the CEO of Zillow. And I'm going to let you get back to your mac and cheese. <laughs> and uh, thank you for thank coming you out and celebrating with us you. tonight. So Spencer's just one of our guests this evening, uh, serving as our keynote speaker tonight. And I'm really looking forward to his remarks. That's right. So, John, let's preview the event for people who may not have gotten tickets and are going to be watching here on the live stream with us. A lot us. of people didn't get tickets, by That's the way. right. We sold out a week in advance. So. You spent your past week essentially saying no to people <laughs> who were trying to call in and get in get into the event. So it's, it's a sold-out event. So at about 6.45, we'll take the stage with a few opening remarks. And then we've got a video this year by the, the great folks at Killer Infographics, our partners there. And it's essentially going to be setting the stage for the night and giving a nod, really, to the history of innovation here in the Seattle region. And I'm really actually looking forward to it. It's a, it's yeah, a great killer. motion graphic, as oh, they call yeah. it. Oh, yeah. We've amped up the production value, I would say, this year, in part thanks to our great friends here at Bootstrapper who are shooting this video for us today. I'm getting excited for the Geekiest Office Space category. We got a super cool video that's accompanying that tonight. So that comes in about midway in the program and the awards. Uh, so stick around for that one. Another interesting one to watch. You know, we talk a lot about women in the technology industry. In our CEO of the year category, it's actually a pretty remarkable trend this year. Three of the nominees, the finalists, 
are women from startups in the Seattle region. So it'll be really interesting to see how the final voting turned out in that. Yeah. You know, really kind of bucked the trend in a lot of good ways. Yeah, we have we have a great finalist lineup there. Sarah Bird of Moz, Liz Pierce of Liquid Planner, who was just in the news today for raising an $8 million venture round. Uh, Jane Park of Julep, who's doing great things with her cosmetics startup. And then the guys, don't forget the guys in this yeah, category. I they're, almost did. They're, they're pretty sweet, too. Forrest Key of Boutique. That's right. And Mark Mater of Smartsheet, uh, who also just had a very large venture round. So uh, great stuff going to be happening tonight. Now, I'm going to test your memory here, John. Another big category that we watch very closely, because it really signals the next wave of companies that could potentially become public, is Next Tech Titan. Do you remember the, the, the nominees, the finalists in that category? Oh, I do. You can put me on the spot here. But, yes, we've got some great companies there. Avalara, of course, from Bainbridge, the pride of Bainbridge Island. Uh, Redfin, a, a growing real estate company, obviously. Chef, which many people don't know by their new name, Chef, formerly known as Opscode. Opscode. So I think a great lineup of companies there. Um, and that's gonna be, that was, as I said, very, very close voting in that category. And I think it's gonna be an interesting one. So let's talk about this event in particular. We've been holding it now at GeekWire for three years, but it actually dates back much farther than that and holds a special place in the Seattle technology community. Marcelo Calbucci started this event as the Seattle 2.0 Awards yeah. back six years ago. i my eye out for him. We should get him yeah, here on the absolutely. red carpet if uh, if we see him. Yeah, and I see in a fact, couple folks from Boutique right Key. Let's let's bring yeah, in let's, let's bring, bring in uh, let's bring in Forrest. Hey, Cameron's too here, shy. Forrest, Forrest come, come down the red Forrest. carpet. Here he's here he comes. He's, eating, he's, he's, he's got his appetizer. We're, we're, we're live How's it going, on the man? Internet. Yes, li this is big time. <laughs> this is big time. So so, so the real Forrest truth Key, to the your CEO secret, of Boutique, yeah. one of the finalists here this evening. Welcome. Thank you. Great to be here. I'm excited. Actually, you're a finalist in a couple of categories. I think this is our second year nominated for best perk for Trotamundo. Maybe yeah. second time's a charm. Last year we didn't win. Yeah, this is interesting. The the perk yeah, of the CEO year. CEO of the year. Yeah, CEO You're of the year. Everybody's being modest. I forgot about that. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> Flattered. So this Trotamundo program that you have really ties into your company and your mission as a company. Can you explain it for folks? As you know, we're a hotel marketing platform, uh, SaaS subscription service, and we serve hotels as our customers. So we have several thousand hotels around the world, and we want our employees to experience those hotels, get a chance to travel, and see what it's like to stay in a hotel. So each year, uh, every employee is expected to take about a $2,500 stipend and travel, and that covers airfare as well as their hotel lodging. And a typical ho trip might be, you know, we had a young designer that went to Nepal for a week of backpacking and talked to several hostels. We had people that went to an all-inclusive resort in Cancun and talked to the general manager there as part of their trip. So all over the world, we have people trotting around the world. So your pitch is, if you love to travel and you love technology, come to Boutique. It's just that simple, yes. and, it, and it works. <laughs> it's, it's a big part of our recruiting and a big part of our culture. Cool. Yeah, well, so you're one of the five finalists in the perk of the year category this year. What do you think your chances are? I think it's exactly one in five, right? <laughs> <laughs> That's how the odds work out. Cool. Well, Forrest, thank you for coming out. Excited. And uh, to see have fun both. tonight. Awesome. Cheers. All right. Thanks, Forrest. Cameron. <laughs> All right, hey, thanks, good to thanks. see you. That's right. That's right. We are in full action here on the red carpet, as they say. Yeah. Let's see if we can Keep your pick out some other folks as they as they roll in here. You know, the Ubers and Lyft are our lifts are driving in around the rotundas. You know, with frequency out there. You know, with our with our super geek crowd here. So, yes, this is a, a fun night for us. We're going to keep uh, updating on the activities throughout the evening. And I would say this is probably the biggest celebration that we have of the Pacific Northwest tech community. That's right. And the way this has worked is there were uh, there was a period of nominations by the community. We got you know hundreds and hundreds of nominations in each of these categories. Our judges narrowed it down, our panel of super geek judges, and then there was the public voting, and we received nearly 20,000 public votes across the 13 categories. So it's really a, a participation sport. It's something that the entire community is engaged in, and, and we're really proud of that. Do you see anybody else over there you yeah, want to talk no about? Yeah, no nominees yet. No nominees. Okay. We're keeping our eyes peeled. I'll, I'll keep looking back there. You yeah. keep chatting. Okay. All right. And so this, this really is, as you said, our biggest celebration of Northwest Tech. Not every event that we do is, is a celebration, and this, this really is that way. Um, other categories we can talk about. One is App of the Year, which is a really fascinating one here in the Pacific Northwest in particular. Uh, an interesting app that we have, uh, Lively, the, the concert app that really is an, a, an alternative to bootlegging for people who go to live concerts. Uh, Leafly, which is the uh, marijuana, the Yelp for medical marijuana, essentially. Uh, they've Your really, favorite app, I know. Uh, really, are you trying yeah. to make a comment about me on, <laughs> yes. the, on the internet? Yes, I am. That's right. <laughs> uh, what are the other apps there? Because I can't remember. Oh, well, we have, <laughs> and on your beat, you know. 
Oh, Office that's for right. iPad. Office Come on. for How iPad. How you forget um, Office for iPad? And then Parallels Access. Parallels These are Access. two companies on your beat. So. That's right. Parallels yeah. Access, really great virtualization program, lets you run Mac and Windows apps on your iPad, really part of that trend of mobilization. And also Office for iPad, a, a long-awaited, uh, much-anticipated product from Microsoft that really made a big yeah, about splash. five years. Uh, five, five years in the making. Five years in the, in the yeah. making or so. Thank, yeah. Thanks to Satya Nadella, apparently. That's what the, the Internet say. That's right. So that's it's, right. it's out there. And there was a fifth one that I'm not actually remembering remembering at this point. Let's see if we can jog your memory on oh that. Oh boy, now I have to go through the list in my head. Yeah, uh, so it's Lively, Leafly. Yeah. Cloak 2. Cloak 2, which is a great security app for iPad and iPhone. It's actually, do you know this? It's made by a series of Microsoft veterans who left Microsoft and started making security products for Apple. <laughs> Apple devices, which is not exactly the path that you would expect. Yeah, they them probably to go. should focus on their own. Uh, yeah, on their Windows. Own yeah, on their own ecosystem. The challenge is a little yeah. bit too high there. You know, Absolutely. if you're going to try and Absolutely. secure something, maybe just start with something that's you know a little bit farther ahead of the game. Now I'm going to get. Right. I'm going to get. Oh, that's I'm okay. Probably that's get okay. On that one. So yeah, we've got a great crowd of folks coming in tonight, and we're super excited to have so many people coming out and celebrating with us. And, uh, you know, let's see if we can drag somebody else out yeah, here from the it? crowd. Yeah, Trying to see our finalists. Traffic traffic is a little rough tonight. Oh, tr Let literally, traffic on the roads is a little rough. That's so right. That's right. Let me see if I can. Uh, up. Why don't we grab uh, Kevin Lasota? I see oh, him geez. walking down here. He's a, he's an annual standby. Come on in. Come on Kevin, up. we need you to come out and flag some people so we're not always looking back here. Oh, Kevin Lasota from, from, Les, from Fine Well. Thank our great, saying, our yeah. great company, uh, online real estate company in town. Kevin, you're a frequent guest here at our events. Why do you come out to all of our events? Uh, after this many years, I'm not really sure. <laughs> it's just kind of like a come reflex on, give us at a this ring, point. Give, me, give us a ringing endorsement, man. Come on. Come on. GeekWire is the uh, the heart of the tech community in Seattle. I, how, how would I miss it? Yeah. We, we, really had to, we had to twist your arm on that one, didn't we? <laughs> you did. <laughs> what, so what category are you most uh, looking forward to tonight? To tonight? Uh I'm looking forward to uh, probably, I like the big deal of the year. Deal of the year. Deal of the year. That's a good one. That's yeah. a really good one. You that's, got the, that's a competitive one that's, because you've got two IPOs there. Two, you have the Tableau and the Zulily IPO, and plus you have some great uh, venture financings. You have Juno Therapeutics, uh, which raised $176 million, and Acton, one of our Portland companies that's represented for all of our viewers down in Portland tuning in tonight. Yes, <laughs> that's right. And isn't there a dark horse in there? The uh, Eagle, Eagle Home View. Eagle, Eagle View. View. Yes, is... I wrote a column about them about how Eagle View was the company that no one, the, the company that sold for six hundred and fifty million dollars that no one had heard of. So, and that uh, was a fascinating company because it was essentially about roofs on houses, right? It, yeah, aerial aerial uh, photography essentially that can pinpoint your roof. Let me get this coat off. Yeah. It's getting hot this in is, here. This is a this is a pro move. <laughs> pro, is a move. pro move. You don't see that anywhere. It keeps going. Yeah. <laughs> so so yeah, aerial photography measures roofs. Used it for insurance companies. It's it's a it was a hot product. Another interesting one that I know a lot of people are paying attention to. Geek of the year. We haven't talked about this one yet, yes. John. Uh, we have uh, in, among the finalists in this category, Oren Etzioni. Is that right? No, no. He was last year's Geek of the Year. I that's keep right. getting He's that confused. in Higher of the Year. He's that's in right. Higher of the Year. That's right. Uh, so Ju Julie Sandler. That's right. That's right. Uh, Seton Gross of, yep. of uh, Surf Incubator, which is a fantastic community resource. Dr. Jim Olson, who's doing nothing short of trying to you know, cure cancer. Uh, Hardy Partovi uh, of Code.org. And uh, Dan teaching Shapiro of Robot, Robot Turtles. Robot. Yeah, so great category. I was, I was actually talking to Dan Shapiro a couple weeks ago about his nomination, and he's like, I congratulated him on his nomination, and he said, well, there's no chance I'm going to win. I mean, I made a board game, and this other guy's carrying cancer. <laughs> Dan, Dan Shapiro, in fact, was featured this week in a front-page story on the New York Times about the renaissance of classic board games. You didn't even know that was on the front page. We talked no. about the story. No, no, no. That's I a, didn't. No. When, you were at the, when we were at the newspaper, you didn't know when your stories right. were on the front That's page. Right. That's right. <laughs> so, so Dan's, I think even if Dan doesn't win tonight, he's already gotten his reward in terms of his, his promotion. I can only imagine what the sales of Robot Turtles did after that. Did you ever get your kid to play that board game? We've, he likes it. Jack? Yeah, he does it. He, he has played a couple times. And he, he's, he enjoys it. Yeah. So, so among those five, who would be your pick to, to win, Kevin? Geek of the year? Uh, that's a tough one. Um, I'm going to go with Jim Olson on that one. Jim Olson. Okay, yeah. interesting one. Yeah, obviously very deserving. You know, last year we had uh, another cancer researcher, Rebecca Gardner, uh, from the Seattle Children's Research Institute, share that award as Geek of the Year with Oren Etzioni. Yeah, so I'll go Jim Olson. I think Julie Sandler's got the inside track on it, though. Wait, why, why do you think that? Just because of the... the 
Abigail? Popular. Yeah, she's well known in the tech community and has been highly visible in her new role at Madrona. Yeah, we'll have to see. But if I haven't seen too many nominees come That's in, right? I'm Kevin, can you worried. flag a couple of the nominees and <laughs> and shoot them over here when they come in? Uh, we'll Hope, yeah, hopefully okay. they're showing up. <laughs> All right. So that's Kevin Lasota from Findwell. You can check him out at findwell.com. All right. Great. If you Thanks next time you need a house, exactly. look look up Kevin and his crew. Okay. See Bye, Kevin. All right. So I now now I know I truly have an appreciation for what Joan Rivers and Melissa Rivers do on a quarterly they basis. They have a lot of handlers, though. They're not, like, trying to flag people. They have people that are, like, yeah. sending them up, and they got the we're, earpiece, we're, and they're saying, okay, now who's now? guess who's coming up? Guess who's coming up? Where are so, our handlers and our earpieces? We need a handler. Next yeah. year, yeah. let's step this thing up. We need, okay, yes. can you write this down, put it yeah. on the calendar? Handler. Handler, earpiece. Handler, earpiece. Okay, that, All right. that'll work. All right. Okay, well, great. Well, I'm going to take a break. <laughs> you <laughs> hang out. <laughs> I'm going to go see if I can find, I'll scrounge somebody up. Okay, you're going to scrounge okay. somebody up. All right, once again, we are live from the GeekWire Awards. John has just abandoned me. We can uh, switch to the, the flag, the mic with the flag. Hopefully, he'll come back soon. But once again, we're expecting about 800 people here tonight at the GeekWire Awards, uh, essentially a celebration of Pacific Northwest technology. You can see we're live, literally, on the red carpet as the large crowd files in here at the EMP in Seattle. A couple other uh, points of interest. Uh, actually, upstairs, there is a private VIP room hosted by our presenting sponsor Wave Business Solutions uh, that overlooks the Sky Church where we're going to be having the main activities here at the GeekWire Awards and so uh, there's sort of a, a crowd a hand-picked crowd of VIPs that are going to be up there and uh, it's essentially from what I understand the place where Paul Allen the uh, founder of the Experience Music Project now the EMP Museum will go to watch concerts when they have them in the Sky Church here so sort of an, an elite area uh, right here at the EMP in Seattle and I'm going to look around and see. Let's let's get Taylor Soper in here. Uh, GeekWire's Taylor Soper. Uh, many of you know him from his articles on the site. You know, you've covered a lot of these companies, Taylor, over the course of the past year on GeekWire. We've been running through a few of the categories. Um, another one that, that we can talk a little bit about is is Startup of the Year. I know you've followed Definitely. that one closely. Are there startups out there that, that didn't make it in that you, you, you think oh, should have? That did not yeah, make it in. It's yeah. putting me on the spot. <laughs> okay, so what are we, what, who are our nominees? We have Porch. Porch is a good one. Rover. Rover. I love Rover, by the way. All, yeah. the, all the nominees are, the, are really it's good. Some very good nominees. In fact, Porch is a good one to talk about. Porch is a company that's really come out of the blue and just grown like gangbusters. They've grown from about 20 employees to around 150 just in the last six months. This is a fascinating company. They're essentially democratizing home improvement data. They've gone out there, gotten yeah. a bunch of data. They're making it available to consumers. But the really interesting thing that they've done just in the past couple of months is they struck a, an agreement with Lowe's, the home improvement giant. Right. So if you go into any Lowe's in the U.S. now and you ask one of the associates there, hey, great, I bought all this lumber, I have all this material, but now I actually want a professional to put it together, they direct you to the porch site to put it together. It's kind of crazy that a, a startup not really that well known has struck a partnership with it, a huge brand name. And that kind of, if you if you see that kind of partnership with a startup, it immediately gives them some credibility. And it, I think that's, that's what happens with porch. It absolutely does. And you also mentioned Rover. That one has a fascinating background in part because it was born at a startup weekend. Right. And it was Greg, Greg Gosman from Madrona Venture Group who thought of the idea at a startup weekend event. And what do you know? Now it's up for Startup of the Year at the GeekWire Awards. That's right. And it's essentially a dog sitting service. It has turned dog sitting into an efficient online service where you can find qualified sitters for your animal for a weekend or even mm -hmm. longer. Yeah. And, and I think I actually interviewed a woman who was going to med school, but it just didn't work out for her. And she ended up. Um, doing Rover.com, and now she likes it way better, and is making a lot of money. And it's kind of funny how that's just given her, you know, her, 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 her job. Yeah, it's every day. Fascinating stuff. And let's we can we can pull John in too as well and talk a little bit more about the the other startup of the year finalists because I don't I not remember. <laughs> we were just talking about we need an earpiece. We do. If we're going to we do. do this for people that bark in our. I ear. should be up there telling you guys some uh, <laughs> where our nominees all are. Yeah. But yeah, it's filling up. I like, the, I like the vibe in here. Yeah, so tell, tell us a little bit about the scene upstairs where we're going to be the having the award. The scene's good. I I've, haven't walked around too much. I've had my face stuffed with the food so far. The food is great, though. You're on I, your way. This is interesting because I know that you, Taylor, in particular, measure the success or failure of an event by the quality of the food. Yes. Oh, Definitely. The last night we were at a law firm, um, and the food was amazing. So of course the event was amazing. So you were at I, you can you can say the name it was Wilson Sincini, it was Wilson Good Rich and Rosati, our our lawyers, in fact. <laughs> it was. And yeah. you were at an event there that they hosted, and so the lawyers throw it down with some good food. Huh? Oh, I had never really 
been in a law firm actually before, and it was it was, it was never pretty been in a law firm. I never been in a law firm, so it was, it was which a is probably a good thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably my first and last, uh, but it was good. I mean, the food was was impeccable. There was crab and lobster and bacon wrapped chicken. I don't know. Okay, great. So, okay. Uh, but, uh, while while John's doing that, among all the tech events out there that you've been to, the best food you've ever had? Oh God, the best food I've ever had, probably at Las Vegas when we went to the buffet. Oh my gosh, the <laughs> Wind Buffet. Yeah. Do you remember how awesome that was? That was pretty the good. The Wind yeah. Buffet in Las Vegas. CES was pretty memorable, but that buffet was that was out of this world. Yeah, the other things we're trying to forget. <laughs> yeah. But that buffet, I just yeah. want to keep thinking about it over yeah. and over. All right, where John yeah. go? See, he, he this is this is how it works. He cues yeah. it up and yeah. then he turns his back. Hey, John, are you ready? I want to get him to, Ken, come on over here. Yeah, he told me to get over yeah, here. Yeah, yeah. All right, I'm going to yeah. switch spots with John here. There's our photographer for the evening. And we're, uh, I'm back. I yes. went and tracked down Ken Meyer. Yeah, you should introduce Ken. Ken, Ken, Ken right. how would we introduce? He's like, he's like an entrepreneur, a longtime business guy. Former executive director of the WTIA, now involved as interim executive at Alltech, which yes. is a fascinating venture. A partner of ours. A partner of ours. Why don't you describe for folks what Alltech is and what you're doing? Uh, well, we're bringing a new health insurance plan to the tech industry. Uh, it's for small, you know, zero to uh, five to 199 employees, and it's designed for the kind of health insurance they need. And so it's medical, vision, uh, you name it. Ken's also one of our great Super Geek members, and uh, you as know, designated by his red lanyard. Look at this, and, and <laughs> the Academy Awards of the industry, right? That's right. What are you excited to uh, to check out well, tonight? I'm any not, specific categories? I'm, any specific companies? I'm, I'm, anything? I've learned long ago never to pick, but uh, great, uh, great nominees. Uh, great venue. You guys really put together an incredible show, as always. Thanks. And we've amped. We should say we've amped it up this year, Ken. Uh -oh. Be prepared. Uh -oh. A lot of, lot of animations, graphics. Wow. Yeah, for the people watching on the live stream at home, you're going to get a glimpse of this starting at around 6.45. So stay tuned here on GeekWire. Fired up, guys. Well done. Okay. Thanks, cool. Ken. Good to see you, Ken. Yeah, okay, thanks. Take care. All right. I'll get, no, no, don't leave me alone again. Oh, why not? Why not? Well, <laughs> I can't. I, I can only can't, vamp can't for carry so long. It? All right. Well, I'll keep, pe I'll keep peeking you, over, my, while, all while over you, my shoulder. While you do that, we've already talked about two of the Startup of the Year finalists with Taylor. Right. One was Rover. Yeah. And the other was Remitly? No, we did not talk about Remitly. Did not talk about Let's Remitly. Let's talk about Remitly. Remitly. Remitly's an interesting business. It started at Techstars, and actually, they've created. It's it's backed by Jeff Bezos, uh, amongst others, and they've created a very simple and easy and low cost way to transfer money overseas, starting specifically with the Philippines. And uh, you might ask, why the Philippines? Yeah, why the Philippines? Why the Philippines? <laughs> well, it's interesting that. It is one of the number one spots in terms of tra money transfers from the U.S. to to overseas, and so they have started there. the The founder is a a, a very charismatic uh, guy. I just saw him, and I was trying to track him down. Ma Matt Oppenha Oppenheimer, who came up with the idea for this company when he was working in Africa, where bill paying and really mobile wallets are are uh, you know more prevalent than than you would even imagine here in the U.S. So. Was inspired in Africa, came back, started the business, yeah. and uh, and oh, here we go! Oh, wow, wow, we have a. Is this legal? Is this legal? What do we have? Is this a prop? <laughs> hey, Chris, how's it going? Good to see you. Who do we have here? <laughs> Hi, Laika. What do you have to say about the awards tonight? She's thrilled. Oh yes. <laughs> yeah. Of she course, was Chris Roby of Rover.com, yes. one of our nominees in the Startup of the Year category. We were just talking about you, Chris, and, and Rover.com. We were explaining how Rover really had its roots in a Startup Weekend yeah. project. Yeah. yeah. It was really crazy, you know, just having it started sort of organically out of that Startup Weekend and just growing, you know, as it did in Seattle since then. So it's been really fun. Yeah, and actually started by a venture capitalist in town, Greg Gottesman. Uh, who is at Madrona Venture Group yeah. and is still the founder of the company, obviously, mm -hmm. and very much involved. How, you know, what are you seeing out there in terms, you guys face a lot of competition, you're mm -hmm. part of this sharing economy concept. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where's that going? Because you see in like um, Uber and Lyft and some of these things, they're getting Airbnb, they're getting pretty regulated. Yeah. Well, how's it gonna play out in your industry with pet care? Yeah, that's a good question. You know, I think that as more and more people are sort of seeing this as a way to take care of their pets, that um, it's something that they've been doing 
already. You know, they've already been going to their friends. They've already been going to their family. Um, this is really just a way to uh, take that existing infrastructure and use it for something that, you know, when you're in a city and you're in a condo and you don't have that family and friends right around you and you really need to, you know, go on a trip. So, you know, it's great for, uh, for things like that. So has Aaron Easterly, your CEO, mm -hmm. ever told you the story of when I used Rover.com? No. Oh, boy. Uh, it was an, <laughs> my dog is an interesting specimen. He is a 80-pound uh, flat-coated retriever who eats everything in sight. And we used Rover, and it was a great experience. And we showed up. Uh, and previously, we did like a tour of the home and wanted to make sure it was okay. And they seemed okay to have a very voracious eater in the house with Henry. And he ended up figuring out a way to unlatch the chicken coop, which he, which the owner of the home had told me it was impenetrable. He had figured out, he got in there, and he ate like an entire trash can full of chicken feed. At and least he didn't eat the chickens. He did not eat the chickens, but he ate all the chicken feed. So that's my rover.com story. But anyway, great service. Congrats on being a finalist. Thank you very Go much. have a drink and have some fun tonight. All right. All right. Thanks, Chris. So that, that's one of the finalists for Startup of yes. the Year. Let's talk about the others. We talked about Remitly. Yeah. Do you remember the others? I'm oh, putting gosh. you on the you spot are here me again. On the spot. Uh, Remitly, Rover.com, uh, Haiku Deck. Haiku Deck. Context Relevant, which is kind of a big data play. But, you know, what I want to do is bring on Damon Cortesi oh, of Simply Measured, Sounds a good. repeat finalist, our, a past Startup of the Year yeah. Yeah. last year. Good to see you, man. You How too, are you, Damon? I'm doing well. Thank good. you. Boy, things have, uh, things have really progressed for you since we covered you, I think, on day one that you were formed <laughs> as a company name. Untitled Startup was the company name. Things have really gone well for you guys. Yeah, yeah. We started out as two people, and as of uh, this week, I think we're somewhere around 129-ish. 129? Yeah, it's a little insane. <laughs> wow. Uh, it's actually terrifying. But <laughs> <laughs> So you guys are up, if I jog my memory, you're up for geekiest office space, yes. and I think perk of the year, yes. and your colleague, you're a little too old, but your yeah. colleague, your co-founder, <laughs> Aviel Ginsberg, is up for entrepreneur, young entrepreneur of the year. What do you think his, his chances are? Oh, I think they're fantastic. He's yeah. an amazing man. He is amazing. <laughs> Aviel is a great entrepreneur in town. What, of the three categories, what do you think you're going to win tonight? I'm shooting for young entrepreneur. Okay. Yeah. That's, that's what I'm going for. Yeah. All right. All right. Good. <laughs> What's your favorite part of the GeekWire Awards? Why do you come out? You guys, Simply Measured always brings brings the house out. So why do you guys come out and party with us? Uh, it's definitely the one time of the year that we get to kind of actually come out of the office. Uh, we're usually stuck in there doing work all, all throughout the year. So it's nice to come out and see what everybody else is up to and, and see what all the other companies in town are doing. It's fantastic. Yeah. Well, you are up for Geekiest Office. So it, there's reasons why you wouldn't want to leave the place when you've got a putting green and... <laughs> You know, yeah. all the other perks that you give to folks. So I'm glad you're able to come out and, and enjoy the party with us. <laughs> yeah, good deal. Well, talk about that. Talk about the culture and, and how the place that you've created there feeds into the culture that you've created at the company. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's one of those things you have to be very deliberate about when you're when you're building the company. And we try to make sure that everybody feels very welcome and we kind of build a family at the company. And so, you know, there's not really such a thing as a work-life balance. Uh, I work all the time. Get the and so guys that's, going upstairs it's pretty right much there. what my life is. And it's nice to be able to go to work, have my friends there, have yeah. my family there, and uh, do all the things I would normally do in life, whether that's oh, okay. grab a beer at the kegerator or putt on the putting green or hack away on my computer. So. Good stuff. <laughs> All right. Well, thank you very much for stopping and talking to us. Yeah. Thanks, Damon. Good luck tonight. Yeah. All right. We'll see you up there, yeah. man. The All right. We've got another uh, finalist coming in. Come on in. Who wants to speak on behalf of Leafly? Okay, come on. You guys All right, guys. All crowd in. in. Get all cozy so you get on our live stream here. <laughs> Team Leafly, you guys are up for App of the Year. Yeah, Todd, so, yeah, you so set for, this up. Yeah, so for people who don't know what Leafly is, when you're just in polite conversation, uh, talking, with, talking with somebody at a cocktail party, how do you describe what the app is? So we're basically uh, an online resource for cannabis information, particularly around uh, strain data. Like so people have described you as the Yelp for marijuana. Is that a is that a fair comparison, or is that something you guys kind of shy away from? No, it's pretty fair. Uh, people come, <laughs> they use the site, they find the exact strain they need, they leave uh, ratings and reviews. So very similar to what you you see with Yelp. We also have dispensary listings, so there's some parallels there. Yeah. So how do you guys make money? You're not taking a share of the profits on it, are you? Uh, dispensary, you know, we work with dispensaries who we sell placements and advertising with. So it's been uh, keeping the lights on pretty well. Yeah. I bet. Obviously a growing business in Washington State and Colorado. Yep, when, when are we? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I, I, I know. I think it's, what's interesting to me is when do we, we think we're going to see this trend of uh, legalization of marijuana spread to other states? And will it? This year. 
for sure this year, other states. Why do you think that? Uh, there's some good uh, ballot initiatives in Alaska, Oregon, Florida. I think we'll get medical this year probably. It's Minnesota. just going to Minnesota. Hopefully, Excellent. Hopefully legalization West Coast really soon, uh, nationwide more medical adoption, and I think the, the tables are turning. So. so tell us about your shirts. Yeah, so you've got... Oh, cool. These are Bubba, cool. Bubba Kush. Bubba Kush. Yeah. Yeah, so you're, these are basically strains that are featured in Leafly, or at least cataloged in Leafly. That's right, yeah. yeah. This is our representation for the different strains. We have these tiles, so we don't show a lot of imagery unless you want to see the, the different yeah. imagery of the flower, but, you know, the variation's pretty slim, so... I like the design. It's kind of like the periodic table of pot. Right, right, right. <laughs> That's great. Well, this is great, and it's kind of a preview because we're going to have you, Cy, and one of your colleagues on the GeekWire radio show and podcast which airs this weekend on Cairo Radio and also on GeekWire.com. You can uh, subscribe to it in iTunes and Stitcher and catch a full conversation this weekend about Leafly and, and uh, your bid for App of the Year here at the That's GeekWire right Awards. Yeah. Fingers, yeah. Good luck, guys. Good yeah, yeah, good luck. Good luck. And thank you for joining us on the red carpet. Okay. All right. Have fun up there. Thanks, yeah. guys. Good luck to you. All right. So, so let's bring – hey, Lee, do you want to come on and get on? You are too. You don't want to get on? All right. Okay. I thought we were going to get uh, Lee Brown no, 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 has he's, offers he's, he's, in there. He's, he's trying to do something. I don't know what you're yeah, up to over there. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So, so big, big event tonight, John. Yes. Uh, and are there any categories that we haven't talked about that, Gosh, that we should I was, have? I was off mic there for a little bit. What I think we've bootstrapper? hit Bootstrapper. Bootstrapper of the Bootstrapper year. is a great. In fact, has offers is a pa past uh, Bootstrapper, of, past the year bootstrapper of the year winner. And so for um, people who don't know what this category is about, it's about companies that have risen to – glory or at least grown quite a bit and done well without taking any kind of institutional or even outside capital. That's right. They built it themselves based on credit cards or even better revenue. Fantastic category. One of my favorites. And I think uh, we've got some great companies in here from o some older companies that have been around that have built some pretty large businesses such as Edifex and geocaching uh, to some newer companies such as Dwellable, which is the online uh, hot uh, you know, hotel resort uh, vacation rental business, which y is a interesting app. Yugi's Closet Yugi's is one Closet, of these. Yugi's Closet, e-commerce uh, startup. Yeah. yeah, you mentioned geocaching back there, and it's a fascinating one because I think it flies under the radar. It's a yeah. little bit niche, yeah. but it's a giant niche. I can see that you see somebody. You want to go get them? Well, I saw Joe Heitzberg over there of Poppy, another nominee, in our gadget of the year. Which is a fascinating one to talk about yes. as well because it really speaks to the evolution of the Seattle technology industry where we have now a full-on hardware category that we can feature here at the yeah. GeekWire Awards. Five gadgets uh, of, of varying types, um, yeah. including Pencil by 53, which uh, works in conjunction with their paper notebook oh, app. don't worry, man. They're, they're, they're gone. Yeah. yeah. All right, they're, they're, on their, they're in their own world. <laughs> <laughs> go Pen get Joe Heisenberg of Poppy. Yeah, can you go get Joe? <laughs> He's over there checking his coat. See if you can get Joe. So. Oh, we're wrapping, wrapping it up. up. Okay, right, it's right, almost right. 6.30. Wow, we got... 6.30. Where are you guys are in need of a guest star? <laughs> oh, gosh, here comes Perry. <laughs> here comes Perry. Perry and Spencer's back. back. Hey. Right back. Uh, so this is Jason. Hi, Jason. Okay. Good to see you. Yes, another one of our nominees this nice evening. To Good to see you. I'm on the board of. Absolutely. Anyway, so talk about Zulily. Zulily, up for... Uh, you guys are up for deal of the year, your IPO. Now, this is a fascinating category because we have... Tableau against Zulily, two battling uh, IPO companies. So, you guys gonna win this one? Uh, well, we are just focused on the long term. So the IPO was fun, but there's a lot more work ahead. Most importantly, we are looking for good engineers. So, uh, oh, geez, if you, you gonna... know of any good engineers? <laughs> you and everybody not... else. You and everybody else in the audience. Yeah, geek work. There we go. There we go. Thank Maybe. you, Spencer. Thank you, Spencer, good. for saving that one. All right. It's been an exciting year, so we're, hey, good we're to see out you, here. Well, we're yeah. gr glad to have you uh, and all of our other great finalists and, and nominees here tonight. And we're going to have a great, great night and a okay. great party. Thank you to Zulu. Here's what just happened. Sanjay yes. Puri from Nine Mile Labs just came up and once again won the GeekWire no, 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 member no. charge. He didn't want Perry's, it. Perry didn't no, want Perry it. came back to me oh, and gosh. said he oh, wanted it. Oh, it's been given. Oh, he said it's he been given. Okay, all right. Perry's too much. He's a flip-flopper. He said he wanted it. The members can come up to me and say the secret password. This time the prize is One more guess. Fire TV. Quick, yes. I think we're done. We're done. I think we're done. We're All right. We're All right. headed up now. The awards ceremony. We're getting the cut, guys. The, the awards Sorry. ceremony is going <laughs> to start at 645. Stick around on GeekWire.com. We'll see you up we'll on you stage. Soon. All right. Until then, Thanks, I'm Todd guys. Bishop. And I'm John Cook. We'll talk to you up there. All right. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, guys. Thank you.
All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're about ready to start. Once again, if we could have our presenters and finalists come on up and take their seat. We're about ready to start here in just a minute with the 2014 GeekWire Awards.
presented by Wave Business Solutions. I'm John Cook of GeekWire, and on behalf of my great colleagues here, Jonathan Spazzato and Todd Bishop, and the entire GeekWire team, we welcome you to tonight's great show. All right. You know, I'm so pumped. Yeah, yeah, let's all hear right. some noise. Yeah, all right. Excellent, excellent. You know, I appreciate the noise. You know, we're so excited and so pumped that all of you, how many people do we have tonight? Like over 800, More than right? 800. Over 800, that you're all here gathered to help us to, uh, to celebrate the successes of the top companies, the most innovative technologies, and the hardest working geeks in the Pacific Northwest. You know, this event was originally started six years ago by Marcelo Calbucci as the Seattle 2.0 Awards, and it just keeps getting bigger. And we're really honored at GeekWire to be carrying on the tradition that he started, bringing the Pacific Northwest technology community together for this great event. Coming up in just a minute, we'll have keynoter Spencer Roscoff, the CEO of Zillow, offering his dose of startup wisdom, followed by the event you've all been waiting for, the presentation of the GeekWire Awards for 2014 in 13 categories. First, a big thanks to our title sponsor, Way Business Solutions, commercial grade internet and phone solutions for small and large businesses. Each winner tonight gets a custom labeled bottle of champagne, courtesy of Wave, as they exit the stage. All right, so we've got a packed house tonight, an absolutely packed house. And so in years past, Marcelo Calbucci's come up and actually told everybody to be quiet. We don't want to have to do that this night, tonight. So um, we just ask that you, if you want to keep the networking going, the talking going, just go to the lounge area where sponsors Filter and Perkins Coie are sponsoring some amazing drinks and snacks. They're really, really delicious. I had some. That was dinner for me, actually. The show will be simulcast in a lounge so you can keep your eye on the festivities while you chat, chat with your colleagues. The last of the show, if you want to talk during the event, is back in the Liquid Lounge, just back this area. We're going to try to keep it as quiet as possible during Spencer's keynote and during the presentation. So if you want to chat... ...a little more lively experience. But of course, an event like this does not happen without our great sponsors. Thanks to name badge sponsor, Bader Martin, and to our friends at Moz, who are rocking it in the photo booth once again. Also, thanks to our great dinner sponsor, Aptio, and beverage sponsor, Stella Artois, one of my favorite cocktails. All right, also a big shout out to Silver Sponsors, Robert Half Technology, First Tech Federal Credit Union, Ticketmaster, All Tech, and Double Down. And a special thanks to Bootstrapper Studios for handling the video tonight. We'll have full recaps on GeekWire with video. Also, thanks to the great team at Killer Infographics, our neighbors in Seattle's Fremont neighborhood, which worked on the amazing motion graphics video that you will be seeing shortly on one of the world's largest HD LED screens. Wow. Get ready for it. Yeah. I'm really amazing excited about this. People might remember last year we did our startup kid video. This is going to be more inspirational, more fun, so get ready for it, folks. It's going to be really, really cool. But... What I'm most excited about, or what I'm really excited about this year, we've got a great after party taking place at Sport Restaurant and Bar at Fisher Plaza. It starts at 9, presented by our great partners, Google Cloud Platform. They're giving away $500 discounts to their service. They're going to, and uh, I think they're buying the first round. They're going to keep the party going. So after we're done here around 9, we're going to head over to Sport and keep rocking. We also wanted to tell you very quickly about two new things we have cooking at GeekWire. First, be sure to check out our brand new, just released today, Android and iPhone apps for GeekWire, developed by the fantastic degrees, at, the fantastic team at 47 Degrees here in Seattle. Yeah. Download them today. Please rate them five stars, if you will. Also, mark your calendars for our biggest event of the year, the GeekWire Summit, taking place October 2nd in Seattle. We're releasing 75 pre-release tickets this week at a special rate available to the first people who sign up on the GeekWire events page. And there 
is the formalities. Let's get right All into right. the program, gentlemen. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. You know, I actually want to start by asking my colleagues a question. John, what do you like best about Seattle? Oh, gosh. I think it's the uh, openness of the people and the uh, yeah. wonderful natural scenery. That's if great. You were that's to great. Yeah, well, you know, I spot. have to say it's this community right here. This is my favorite thing about yeah, yeah. the Pacific Northwest. Totally, totally. So one of the things that I love about the Seattle community is the constant rate and pace of innovation. Small, tiny companies turn into big tech titans, right? Small ideas become the next grand, you know, game-changing uh, innovation. You know, and that's why we're really gathered here tonight, celebrating the innovators and dreamers who can see the future and build something great. We have an homage now to Seattle's history of innovation. Please watch this video. I get chills watching that. That's awesome. Thank you so much to our partners at Killer Infographics for putting that together. It's an amazing video. We worked really, really closely with them on that. This is what we love about our jobs at GeekWire. We get to cover all these amazing companies. We get to cover the next, the dreamers, the doers, the innovators. And that's what this night is about. about. So thank you so much for coming out and being a part of it. Now, I would like to welcome on the stage Patrick Knorr of Wave Business Solutions to introduce tonight's keynote speaker. Patrick, come on up. Good evening. Tonight's keynote speaker is a startup veteran who has played a key role in advancing Seattle region's technology community. He's a co-founder of Hotwire and later worked at Expedia. A past recipient of Ernst & Young's National Entrepreneur of the Year Award, he recently was named by Forbes as one of the most powerful CEOs under 40. Here to deliver startup wisdom and inspiration, please welcome Zillow CEO, Spencer Raskoff. Thank you. Hey, everyone. Thank you for that introduction. And congratulations to all of this evening's honorees and nominees, startups and upstarts, all of you here upending just about everything. Together, tonight, we gather to celebrate all of you. 
women and men who Steve Jobs, channeling Jack Kerouac, would have called the crazy ones. The misfits, the rebels, the troublemakers, the geeks. The ones who drop out of prestigious colleges and business schools. The ones who decline the offers at Goldman and McKinsey. The ones who leave their cozy, rest and invest, six figure, nine to five jobs, all for the chance to be mocked on HBO. <laughs> so why do we do it? Well, the thing is, all of these sacrifices, all of these questionable trade-offs, they all beget a simple staring back at you in the mirror question, which is why? Why do we disappoint our parents with seemingly bad decision after bad decision? Exhibit A, my mom six months ago on the phone says, so Spencer, when are you finally gonna go to business school? <laughs> I think that ship has sailed, mom. Why do we force our grandparents in the middle of their water aerobics in Boca to rationalize our jobs to their friends? My grandmother says, I think Spencer does something in computers. Well, because we're misfits, because we're rebels, we're troublemakers, but maybe, just maybe, you're all something else too. You're visionaries. You're visionaries with the rare passion to pursue something with relentless, maniacal focus. With the unlikely faith to keep at it in the face of near constant failure. Visionaries emboldened by the companionship and camaraderie of other fellow zealots. True believers who offer strength and support when it's in greatest demand but lowest supply. Like the Kerouac line goes, some may see us as the crazy ones, but when I picture some of tonight's nominees or the companies featured in the video, when I look at your faces, I see genius. Because when you think about it, it takes genius to invent a special language that the muggles will never understand. Because when we say PM, we don't mean nighttime. When we say ship, we don't mean a boat. And when we say viral, that's a good thing, not a bad thing. It takes genius to master the seminal languages of the 21st century. Not French, Spanish, Latin, or even Mandarin, but Python, Ruby, C++, Java, the languages that actually matter nowadays. It takes genius, inspired, courageous, crazy genius, to overthrow so many venerated, hidebound institutions and traditions influencers you all are, without above-the-fold bylines, but with global bully pulpits. Not generals with armies, but social media technorati commanding loyal legions of followers, one tweet at a time. Giants, neither of the cloth nor of the Congress, but of the keyboard. Software developers that are reimagining the way we create, connect, collaborate, and communicate. It takes a community, and behind them, behind all of us, is a community, this community, a community comprised of all of us. People sometimes ask me why we launched Zillow in Seattle as opposed to further south. No, not Tacoma, and not LA, too far south. I think they mean the Bay Area. Well, in my mind, it's because there are enough of us weirdos here, enough of us weirdos that we can hide in plain sight like the mutant X-Men finding strength in numbers within the Xavier Institute. I think Seattle has the right balance of mutant and mortals because the Bay Area is so overrun with people like us that they've attracted the picketers' pitchforks. I mean, can't a developer enjoy his cappuccino on a Wi-Fi enabled shuttle bus in peace? <laughs> but more importantly, I think the preponderance of technologists in the Valley causes them to lose sight of the real world. Just because people on the mission and the marina use secret and whisper to express their inner snark, and just because all of them use TaskRabbit to pick up their laundry, doesn't mean that people in Peoria or Puyallup ever will. Seattle, on the other hand, to me, has just the right mix. Like my secret recipe for Swedish chocolate chip pancakes, it has the right ingredients for success. Enough of us to feel part of the tribe, but in small enough measure, that we don't inadvertently create an echo chamber, bubble of boredom. So, we're all members of this faith. What are the tenets of its faith? Within our merry band, what makes some citizens successful while others run back to safety? 
Unfortunately, most of these attributes are innate and not learned, but they can be influenced. They are akin to a sense of religion. Some are born with a kernel of piety, others are not. But like religion, with practice, with fidelity to several tenets, anyone can become religious. Passion, faith, and companionship. And then they become more knowledgeable about this religion that we all share. Just look at us. I mean, our tribe has its own chronicler in GeekWire. We have our own totems in Microsoft, Amazon, and hopefully someday, Zillow and Zulily. And we have our own clergy in one another, revealing, reveling in, and relaying the gospel from tablet to tablet. But enough of the proselytizing. Let's move on to the evangelizing. So what's our call to action for tonight? Because tonight I'm preaching to the converted, of course. So I ask you all to do something about it. You've already affirmed the promise of avoiding the well-trodden path, of abandoning the road paved with blue button-downs and pressed khakis with pleats, God forbid. But as you move forward, carving out your own entrepreneurial path, I hope that you'll reach back. A few years ago, I visited my old fraternity at Harvard. I spoke with 40 bright young men. I told them my story, and I begged them not to follow the herd to Wall Street. I told them how I followed the siren song to Goldman Sachs, and then had to break free from its tentacles and move 3,000 miles west just to reinvent myself and to find professional happiness in a world that actually creates something instead of in the vacuous casino of Wall Street. I said to them, go west, work in tech, start something, build something, create something of value, and if it becomes valuable, well, terrific, but either way, at least do something interesting. I implored them with all my powers of persuasion. Two years later, I checked back, and I was 0 for 40. <laughs> Other than one or two doctors in the bunch, almost all of them had gone to Wall Street and none had followed my advice to carve out their own career path in tech. Even my own brother, currently a junior at Dartmouth, is going to work for the Vampire Squid this summer, my alma mater, Goldman Sachs. To me, this is more than a sad illustration or an invitation for my mom to tell me to be nicer to my brother. It reflects our collective moral failure, the atrophy of our country's intrepid spirit, it's a testament to the triumph of accumulation over ambition and aspiration. It's an indicator of an epidemic, the ultimate brain drain out of medicine, education, entrepreneurship, a great migration from the college to the casino. So let's do something about it. Win, lose, or draw, I hope when everyone leaves here tonight, you'll commit to telling one person in your life to do something professionally unconventional. Tell them to dare to be uncomfortable. Ask them to consider a career outside of the mainstream. Ask them to push the human race forward instead of falling back in line. Ask them to follow you into technology where innovation and exploration are reinventing entire industries. Because that's what GeekWire is all about. This is what John and Todd, in partnership with Jonathan, intended for this community to do and create. It's not just news at GeekWire, it's renewal. The marriage of entrepreneurialism with community. So go on, don't carry a briefcase, wear a backpack. Choose to work at companies teetering on the edge of insolvency. Enjoy the free soda and the obligatory foosball table because in your life and in your work, you empower and embody an idea that the future doesn't belong to the miserable phonies living a Dilbert-like office space existence, toiling away in the bowels of some soulless behemoth, cogs in a wheel of someone else's creation. No, fortune favors the bold, the geeks, rich in passion, faith, and companionship in this community. After all, you can't start a revolution without taking a risk. Congratulations to you all. You've all taken the first step by being here tonight. And to you, I raise a glass. To my fellow geeks, go forth and conquer.
Thank you, Spencer. That's awesome stuff. Great insights. This is what also we love about this community is having people like Spencer in, in it that we get to cover every day. Uh, Zillow was one of the first companies, I was one of the first reporters ever to cover Zillow and I love getting in there at the very beginning and covering companies at the very start. And I want to get your uh, secret recipe for Swedish pancakes sometime. So thank you, Spencer. Uh, great job. All right. And now it's the moment you've all been waiting for. It's time to present the 2014 GeekWire Awards. All finalists tonight were nominated by the tech community and selected with the help of our great Super Geek members, a panel of more than two dozen industry leaders from across the Pacific Northwest. GeekWire readers voted to select the winners with nearly 20,000 votes cast across 13 categories. You all were clicking, clicking like mad out there for these votes. So who will win? Let's get started. Our first category of the night is a new one. Gadget of the Year. <laughs> Presenting Gadget of the Year is Alexander Dorset of category sponsor Nitech. The nominees are Exo Labs and its amazing iPad enabled microscope. Moment, mini camera lenses for mobile phones. Pencil by 53, a stylus for touchscreens. Poppy, a smartphone 3D viewer. And Snoopy, maker of the Wally Home sensors. And the winner is Envelope. Let's see who it is. What a surprise here, Todd. It is Poppy. <laughs> Accepting the award is Joe Heisberg, co-founder of Poppy. Come on up, Joe. Honestly, what an honor. Everyone who backed us on Kickstarter, I just have to say, first of all, thank you very much. A couple other people here. My co-founder, Ethan Lauer, who couldn't be here tonight, I think would be just as shocked as I am that we won. And uh, thank you to Mark Barros for your guidance on getting hardware uh, started. It's very hard. I want to say that to everyone who's considering doing it. This is Poppy. It's a great holiday gift item. We're sold out, but if you get on there now, we're on pre-order. We're manufacturing more now. Thank you. You know, Joe, you don't know this, but this is actually, I found version two of Poppy. Do you like this? <laughs> it's a good form factor, I think. It's a little bit, you know, upping the ante on Google Glass. <laughs> so actually, the next category, I, I, have an, I have a mobile app to tell me what the next category is. Oh, the next category is app of the All right, App of the Year is presented by Peter Hamilton, CEO of Has Offers, maker, has offers, maker of mobile app tracking. I just want to say that Peter flew all the way back from Beijing this morning, yeah, just to be here. So, Peter Hamilton, all right. Thank you for that. Um, the nominees are Marijuana Review App. Yeah, yeah, that's right. I, I'm not sure if you heard me. It's a marijuana review app. How do you, what, what, what's five stars versus three? Lively, live concert app. All right, lively fans out there. Office for iPad. And finally, Parallels Access Mac. Thank you. Uh-oh, here comes all of Leafly. They're gonna, it's going to be a wow. party up here. I think these guys awesome. are all going to be at the after party, too. So who knows all what's right. going to let loose later. Yeah. Can this stage support this? <laughs> did we just beat Microsoft? You did just beat Microsoft, yes. Actually, yes. Incredible. <laughs> I, I just want to thank, uh, first and foremost, uh, 47 Degrees. They were really uh, helpful in this whole process. Um, Cy Brian and Scott, the founders of Leafly, John Carroll for putting this all together. Um, Cy, I think you should say something. Size, yeah. Just a big uh, shout out to the Seattle tech community too. 
uh, the co-founders and myself um, recently moved up here, and it's been great. And you guys have been great, and we love it, and we love this city. So thank you. All right. Jonathan, that looks like a fun group to work with, huh? Yeah, I'd say. Did anyone else Maybe find it interesting that the co-founder's name was Christian Grow? I uh, know, exactly. Okay. No, that's kind of interesting. Okay, anyway, up next, our next category, a big one, Hire of the Year. Joining us on stage to help present the award is Tim Bruce, Vice President of ProTension. Yes, one of our great sponsors tonight. These five nominees were major coups for their new employers. They are Errol Samuelson leaves Move for Zillow and promptly gets sued. Former Microsoft exec Ted Coomer joins Aptio as Executive Vice President of Engineering and Cloud Services. Seattle Angel investor Rudy Godry joins Founders Co-op. I think he's invested in all your companies, right? <laughs> Former Microsoft and Yahoo media exec Scott Moore named president and COO of Cheeseburger. And Oren Etzioni leaves the University of Washington to form the Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. And the winner is in hire of the year, Oren Etzioni. Allen Institute for Artificial Intelligence. Come on up, Oren. Uh, just very quickly, just want to thank some people. I want to thank my mom. It's really inspired by Spencer Marks, who said, Oren, what are you doing? You're crazy. And, um, and I really want to thank um, my wife, uh, she's here and uh, with her support and her sage advice, uh, she deserves wife of the year. Um, thank you, thank you. And last point, uh, AI2 is really exciting and we're hiring. So look us up. Thanks so much. I don't know how many folks were here last year, but you may recall that Oren was involved in the first ever tie in the GeekWire Awards. He tied with Dr. Rebecca Gardner from the Seattle Children's Research Institute for Geek of the Year. So I'm, I'm going to start referring to Oren as the Meryl Streep of the GeekWire Awards. I know some of you out there are the Sally Field, but maybe next year. All right, our next category is Deal of the Year. You know, I, I got to give a shout out to Killer Infographics for these motion graphics. We really amped up the presentation this year. I, I got to say that robot is cracking me up. I was watching these videos last night with almost more intensity than I watch than I watch the Mariners ads each spring. So really good stuff from Killer. Joining us on stage to present this award is John Robertson, a partner with Cooley, which is the category sponsor of this award. You know, as you know from reading GeekWire, it was a big deal for IPOs, venture investments, and acquisitions. And with that in mind, the nominees for Deal of the Year are Eagle View Technologies, sold to Verisk Analytics for $650 million in cash. Portland marketing automation startup Acton raises $42 million. Cancer research startup Juno Therapeutics raises $176 million in Series A funding. Tableau Software's May 2013 IPO and another IPO, Zoo Lily's November 2013 public offering. And the winner is...
The deal of the year for 2014 in the 2014 GeekWire Awards is Zulily. <laughs> Accepting the award is Jason Lee Keenan, Vice President of Business and Corporate Development at Zulily. On behalf of the whole Zalili team, thank you very much. We uh, love the Geek Wire and the tech community, and uh, it was an exciting year, but this is just the beginning. We have a lot more in store, and we're hiring, so if there are any engineers yeah, in the audience, you and everybody else in find the me later. Thank you. <laughs>
which offers a $2,500 a year travel stipend for employees to go around the world. They call it Trotamundo. Brown paper tickets, which offers a paid work week for social good, volunteering at nonprofits to benefit the community. Has offers, which has a perks, perks and recreation director, a dedicated yoga instructor, and a Sounders private suite just for employees. Inrix, get this, they have a Lake Washington motorboat available for exclusive employee use. And Simply Measured, which has not only a putting green and scotch tasting, but a $3,000 continuing edu education stipend for employees to continue their education. And the winner, and the winner of Perk of the Year for 2014 is Boutique. For Trotamundo. <laughs> Accepting the award is Boutique CEO Forrest Key. Uh, Travel, which is what brought me to the business, my passion for travel, is something that I really wanted to share with our culture, our company. And I must say that while we're going to have a lot of success as a business and we're going to crush it as a company, the thing that I'm already most proud of and that I know will be our legacy in 30 years, you know, I don't know if our software platform will still be there, but the travel experiences that our employees are having um, will be with them forever. One anecdote, we had a young woman, a designer on the team, who had never left the country before, uh, went away for two weeks to Nepal, trekked with a bunch of women, a women's group that she found online, stayed at a bunch of lodges, interviewed the owners, talked about hospitality in that part of the world, and came back and shared her story with the team. And that was a story that I'll never forget and, and probably was the highlight of the company to date was that, that speech that she gave when she returned. So I'm extremely proud of the program. Uh, incredible to win. Uh, thank you so much to the community and to GeekWire. Thank you very much. little bit of GeekWire history here. When we were getting our start, we were looking for a little bit of office space, and we came across Forrest, and he was able to cut us a great deal to sublet some space within Boutique. And so we were actually able to see firsthand from our tiny cubicles in their corner offices in Ballard the strong culture that Forrest and Cameron and the rest of the crew there have developed. And I, I got to tell you, I learned a lot watching, watching how they run that company. I did too. And John, do you remember the terms of that sublet that we got from them? It was $300 a month and a keg of beer. And, and then, then they got the HR director and it was just $300 a month. They asked the keg of beer. I think we could have been up for bootstrapper of the year at that exactly. time. That we was were, creativity. Yeah, so. All right. We're coming, we're coming into the midpoint over the awards here. And our, this next category is actually one of my favorites. I think it's super important for the community to foster the next generation of entrepreneurs. This is Young Entrepreneur of the Year. Joining us on stage to help present this award is Bill, Bill Reed, Vice President of Product Management at Vertifor. We've got five great nominees this year, all under the age of 30. The nominees are Lucas and Lee Brown of Has Offers. Their next door neighbor, Abiel Ginsberg of Simply Measured. Adina Manjabat of Spiral Genetics. Andre Narkren of Builders Cloud, and Jesse Proudman of Blue Box. And the winner is a lot of votes in this category. Jesse Proudman, Blue Box. Come up on stage, Jesse. Jesse's going to have a special guest, I think, coming up with him. Come on, Jesse. <laughs> this is talk about the Young Entrepreneur of the Year award. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just going to walk him around later tonight and rub him on all of you uh, to pick up the mojo. Uh, 
really honored to win this. So this year will be 11 years at Blue Box, uh, which has been an incredible journey. We're announcing some pretty huge news on Monday. In fact, John knows my news today. He's been very nice keeping it quiet. Uh, delighted to be in Seattle. Delighted to, to get to know so many folks in this small community. This guy is not crying tonight, which is a big, big appreciation to GeekWire. <laughs> really honored to win this. Thanks so much to everybody that voted for me and to everybody else in the category. Thank you. Congrats to Jesse and John. As the fathers of two young kids, I can assure everyone in the audience that the fact that that child was not crying had nothing to do with you or me. <laughs> All right, our next category is a very fun one. Let's have some fun with it. Geekiest office space. Let's take a look at these spaces. All right, a big thanks to Bootstrapper Studios for putting that video together. They've been doing some great video work for us here tonight. Kegs and ping pong, basketball. I'm getting some ideas for our office here, John. A big thanks to our longtime partners and annual sponsor, Knoll, for presenting this category and also assisting in the judging, making site visits to pick the finalists. The winner of this category gets some amazing office furniture as part of a prize package, courtesy of Knoll. And joining us on stage to present this award is Betsy Leto of Knoll. So to recap, the nominees in this category are Avalara, Lively, Has Offers, Porch, and Simply Measured. And the winner of 2014 Geekiest Office Space of the Year is Has Offers. <laughs> Accepting this award on Has Offers behalf is CEO Peter Hamilton. Come on up, come on up. <laughs> Lucas welcome, and Lee, you guys, you guys should come up come too. On up. Lucas and come Lee, on up. <laughs> you guys have been up here before once, at least, I think. Hey guys, this is amazing. Thank you so much. Um, we, uh, we love GeekWire. It has been an incredible supporter of us, and you guys tell it like it is. Uh, we love to see like how much you bring people together in the community. Um, our office space is a work in progress, honestly. We've got a lot to work on s still so far. I have to say that especially Lee pretty much thinks of strange things we can do in the office at all times of the night. Uh, pretty, I'm pretty sure he came up with the chef idea and the perks and recreation and about 10 other things. Um, but uh, I'm just so happy to share the stage with two amazing partners, twin brothers, Lucas and Lee. Cheers. And I just want to say uh, one more thing. Um, we, uh, the reason why we actually care or we care about what we build. And so when people come to the office, we want them to have a great time and a great work environment because we all spend so much time there. And so if we can relax and we can build cool code and create cool technology, that's what we want this environment to support. And so I'm glad that the Has Offers team, everybody out there that's here tonight, we, we have the best office space. 
Thanks, guys. Todd, are we going to get a personal chef in our Fremont offices sometime soon? No. <laughs> all right. We are doing a story right now where we're trialing all the food delivery sort, uh, uh, services in town. Our great colleague Taylor Soper is leading the charge on that. So uh, that's our step in having a personal so, actually, our, our next category is one that I believe has offers, has won in the past, Todd. I don't know if you know that little bit of GeekWire Awards uh, trivia. No, tell me about it, John. Okay. So, yes, our next category focuses on those companies doing more with less. It's Bootstrapper of the Year. Presenting the award is Adam Blibtroy, Chief Marketing Officer at Creative Circle. The finalists are Brand Verity, Dwellable, Edifex, Geocaching, Yugi's Closet. And the winner is? A company just down the street from us. Geocaching! <laughs> Accepting the award are co founders Jeremy Irish and Brian Roth. Come on up, guys. Are you guys planning a geocache here? What are you doing? <laughs> We were planning on winning, so uh, I told them that I would do a hacked up version of a scene in Goonies if we won. So here we go. <laughs> Chester Copperpot, don't you see? Don't you realize? He was a pro. He never made it this far. Look how far we've come. Our customers. They want the bestest stuff from us. <laughs> but right now, investors got to do what's right for them. Because it's their time. Out there, it's their time. Up here, it's our time. It's our time up here. <laughs> That's all over the second we go up that bucket. Here's to the Goonies out there. Goonies never say die. I have never seen that movie. I had no idea what just happened. <laughs> I have got to watch that movie. Goonies. Hi. Obviously some great entrepreneurial stories there. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to Netflix it tonight. Tonight. <laughs> okay, so our next category. Next up is Innovation of the Year. All right, presenting Innovation of the Year is Fresh Consulting co-founder and CEO, Jeff Dance. All right. Jeff. And the nominees are Airbiquity Corio, ExtraHop for AWS, Chimeta Mobile Satellite Broadband, Planetary Power High Gen Hybrid Generator. Say that fast three times. Next one's even longer. University of Washington Ambient Backscatter Battery Free Wireless Communication. All right. And the innovation of the year goes to. Extra Hop for AWS. <laughs> Accepting the award is President and Co founder Raja Mukherjee. Well, I have to say it's humbling and it's a tremendous honor to be here. Thank you very much. You know, Seattle is such a haven for technology and for innovation in particular. I mean, this is the cloud 
city, if you will. It's Bespin. Anybody get that? Yeah, I've seen Star Wars. Empire awesome. Strikes Back. Exactly. No, but not exactly. Goonies. No Goonies. You know, last not time not I tried Goonies. bringing up Bespin, everybody looked at me as if I was a bit crazy. No, but, it was Londo's you know, place, yeah. And what, <laughs> and what we're trying to do over here is provide visibility, show people what's happening there. Now, listen very carefully. I'm about to tell you something nobody else here is going to tell you. We're hiring. <laughs> Thank you very much. It's a tremendous honor. Thank you to the Extra Hop team. Thank you to all of you. Awesome. All these were hiring announcements. I'm going to have to put a plug out for our job board, GeekWork. Get on there and post your jobs, these companies that are hiring all these engineers, developers, sales folks, marketing folks. GeekWork.com. Check it out. <laughs> so that's a shameless plug, I know. Anyway, our next category is a big one and a very important one. Next Tech Titan. <laughs> This category is presented by Big Door, and we're pleased to have Joanna Lord on stage with us to help present the award. Voting in this category was super, super close. Great, great companies here. The nominees are Avalara, Aptio, Chef, wow, wow, formerly known as Opscode, DocuSign, and Redfin. And the winner is? Super close voting. Ava Lara. The pride of Bainbridge Island and their orange themed offices. Ava Lara accepting the award is co founder Rory Rawlings. Titan-esque. Thank you. Sometimes words are inadequate. But I, but I, will, but I will say a few words. Um, oh, shoot, I almost forgot. Uh, I need to do a public announcement. Is that OK? Yeah, you're up. It's your time. Cool. So I don't know, in your, your name tags, <clears throat> I'm sure you've got some drink tickets. The uh, little orange ones are from Avalara. If you've not used these, if you don't plan to use it, please hand it to the person next to you. Thank you. So, about the award. <clears throat> Avalara is really an idea whose time has come. Avalara is the convergence of technology public policy, and the work of hundreds and hundreds of individuals who have come together to form an absolutely amazing, amazing team of Team Orange. Yes! And Avalara is, has started, and is driving a global indirect tax revolution. So, I say to everyone here, Yes, of course, we're hiring, but you need to join the revolution. You need to join a very winning, amazing team, and especially for our friend Pascal, who should raise his hand right now, who needs to hire some sales and marketing folks. Thank you so much. Wow. Todd, I wish you had that much enthusiasm yeah. in the office. Come on. Wait a second. Don't those guys make sales tax automation <laughs> yeah, software? I've never right. seen anybody so excited about taxes. <laughs> All right. Next up, we're headed down the home stretch. We have just two more categories to go. If the GeekWire Awards were the Oscars, this would be Best Actor. Our next category is CEO of the Year.
right, presenting this category this year is Wilson Sonsini, Goodrich, and Rosati. Representing Wilson Sonsini is Craig Sherman, who probably actually represents half the startups in this room as well. Our nominees are Sarah Bird of Moz, Forrest Key of Boutique, Mark Mater of Smartsheet, Jane Park of Julep, and Liz Pierce of Liquid Planner. And the winner of the 2014 CEO of the Year Award is Jane Park of Julep. You like me, you really like me. <laughs> you guys are too young to know that reference, right? Um, I am so thrilled to be here, and in particularly such great company, uh, Liz, Forrest, Mark, uh, Sarah. It's amazing to be here with all of you, and uh, as Ben Horowitz says, I know that we all share in the struggle, and I have learned so much from you and from uh, everybody in this room. Looking around, I know that starting a company is all about connection and I am so grateful for so many faces who have been helpful to us. Uh, so first of all, my awesome team who inspire me every day <laughs> and our uh, amazing board member, Spencer Raskoff and uh, Julie Sandler, Geek of the Year. <laughs> Uh, Craig Sherman, who has helped us, uh, and Joe Whitford, and I saw Dan Rosen. Um, so many people who have helped us get to where we are today. I started Julep out of a passion for innovation and collaboration. And I am so inspired by all of you who are out there doing something new every day and who are really building a better tomorrow. So I believe in better. I believe that tomorrow will be better than today. Although today was pretty great, so maybe that's hard. <laughs> so thank you, everybody. And we, too, are hiring. Um, I commit to having a coffee with anybody who is a phenomenal product manager or engineer. I would love to meet with you personally. Jane P. at julep.com. Please drop me a line. Wow. Jane does sort of have a Sally Field quality, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. earnest, straightforward. Yeah, very good. So, you know, if CEO of the year is like best actor category, then this next category, I think it's like best picture. Don't you think? It's like, oh, yeah. So the next category is startup of the year. <laughs> So we're joined by General Assembly CEO Jake Schwartz to help present this award. So a lot of great companies uh, in this category. The nominees are Context Relevant, Haiku Deck, Porch, Remitly, and Rover. All right. Are you ready, Jake? Okay. It's a big category. It's like best picture. Let's go. Yeah. Goonies was not entered, though. And the winner is Rover. <laughs> rough, rough. Accepting the award is Rover CEO Aaron Easterly. Oh, wow, how things change. Um, uh, every week when I talk to my grandma, she asks me, how's Microsoft? And like, I haven't been there in over two and a half years. And she's like, well, that dog sitting thing doesn't have legs, does it? I get um, the same thing. It's been 12 years. <laughs> um, well, thank you guys very much. A special thank you to the team. Um, 
this is an interesting business for us. Um, when I tell people I've, I'm doing this business, they ask why, and I challenge them, name one development in the history of humankind that has increased our happiness on a sustained basis more than the domestication of dog. Think about it. Like, name it. Um, <laughs> you can't say money. It's actually net negative after a certain point. Um, and we're making that possible, and we won't be satisfied until dog ownership rates double. Um, so if you actually want to work on a business that actually matters, not just in Seattle, but for our happiness, come join us. All right. All right, folks. Well, congratulations to all the nominees tonight. And That's a huge right. thanks to our title sponsor, Wave Business Solutions, for helping to make the awards event possible. Definitely check out Wave. Go up to the Blue Lounge with them and hang out. They have a great, great organization there. Also, make sure to go grab a beer with Filter and Perkins Cooey in the lounge area. Grab a dessert from ShareBuilder. You can party here until 9 p.m. And then we're heading over to Sport Restaurant Bar and Grill at Fisher Plaza for the after party brought to you by Google Cloud Platform. We invite everyone to come out. Make sure you use those drink tickets from Avalara and hang out. And thank you so much. So that's a wrap from the GeekWire Awards. Thanks to everyone for coming. And a big congrats to all of the finalists and winners. We'll see everybody at Sport. Woohoo! Absolutely.